I wanted to uh, show you some of the die sets that I've picked up over the past few months. This is a set of scrying stones, DM scenario dice, made by a company called Stratagem. They, I'm pretty sure they were the ones that created that four panel DM screen that I did a video on. Although I may be mistaken, I'd have to go back and look. Anyway, these dice are really big. They're also very hard to come by. I ended up picking up this set from, uh, from Etsy. Although I have seen it on Amazon. The, uh, the link has been taken down, I think. I'm having a hard time finding it. They were sold out on Amazon. Etsy's still got um, Honeywell Designs, I believe. They, they've still got uh, a few sets left. So if you're wanting these things, you better jump on it. I actually got these things a couple of months ago, and I have not opened them. So we'll get to, we'll get to do an unboxing video of what these things are about. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Uh, the winds of destiny are shifting. Running an RPG adventure is easy now. Create memorable characters, settings, and adventures with a roll of the dice. These seven giant polyhedral dice and 60 plus unique dice faces combine for instant unlimited possibility. Who is that elf in the tavern? Does he have a quest for us? What kind of treasure do we get? Is there going to be a dragon? There should always be a dragon, man. <clears throat> Throw a handful of dice to answer these questions and many, many more. With six fantasy races, 12 occupations, 12 personality quirks, six terrain types, five weather conditions, eight epic dungeon settings, and a handy name generator, you can keep the action rolling. So it comes with a dice guide, travel pouch, and reference book inside. Uh, I, I have to mention that it took a month for these things after I ordered them for them to actually show up. That has everything to do with the seller. Right? So maybe you'll have better luck than, than I did. But you got to be patient if you want these dice to show up. Look at the size of these buggers. It's like as large as a quarter. So we got six D6. What are these? D, D10s. D20s. Or D12, excuse me. And then, here's an oddball. D8. Um, this looks pretty simple to understand here. How to play. Running the RPG game can be hard. Okay, alright. So we've got various different races. Well, five races and one hidden appearance. For the D6. Their jobs, their quirks. Someone's always eating. Uh, weather conditions. I think these things are kitschy. They're, they, they're just fun to have, I think. Dungeon theme. Because obviously you could invent all of this off the top of your head. But... This is going to save you a little bit of time, I guess, or give you maybe some inspiration. What kind of treasure are we looking at? Uh, character names. You can pause the video and read all that stuff if you're interested. Dwarf, and then we got Goblin, Miscellaneous Code Names, and a page for notes. And it comes with a canvas bag. This is, I'd say, probably about six by four. Six inches by four inches. And these dice are fat. Man, these are some fat dice. They're very pretty, too. But like I said, they're hard to come by. You'll want to do a search. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can pick these up on Etsy. I couldn't find them on Amazon when I went looking for them. I had the thought, I'll make a video about this, and I'll just link to the Amazon link. But I couldn't find the link again. So maybe you'll have better luck than I do. Anyway, that's uh, the first set I wanted to show you. The second set I wanted to show you, this is another little kitschy dice set. There's only four dice in this. By the way, these scrying stones run 20 bucks, and then you get shipping and handling on top of them if you're paying through Etsy, if you're buying it through Etsy. If you have Amazon Prime, you can get these with for 10 bucks, and then the shipping is already paid for, right? Because you get the Prime. There are two alignment dice, okay? One's got your prefix, the other one's got your suffix, so you can go chaotic neutral. 
three different uh, alignments done twice on a D6 and three different suffix alignments done twice on a D6 and then you've got ten different races I believe is that correct hold on let me look that up real quick the basically all it is is a character generator which is kinda cool you know you roll the dice and you find out I've got myself a uh, what do we got got a cleric he's a gnome or she's a gnome and he's chaotic evil there you go NPC generator or you can use that to generate your own uh, your own PC according to the description here we've got I gotta look this up on my phone we've got uh, uh, a D10 with Dragonborn, Dwarf, Elf, Half-Elf, Halfling, Half-Orc, Human, Tiefling, Ganassi, Gnome, Tortle, and Warforged. And then you have another D10 with your classes. Uh, Barbarian, Bard, Cleric, Druid, Fighter, Monk, Paladin, Ranger, Rogue, Sorcerer, Warlock, and Wizard. And it comes with this little... Uh, draw string ba uh, bag. Citadel Black makes these things, and like I said, they're nine dollars and ninety some odd cents. A better part, of ten bucks. After tax, they probably will be ten dollars. Um, okay, last but not least, what do we got here? All right, is this no, this isn't last but not least. This is a. You can buy this on on Amazon, and I will give you the link to it. Uh, it's twenty polyhedral seven set dice sets, seven dice dice sets. This bag is as big as a Crown Royal bag. And right now, there's more than 20 sets in there. I started throwing extra sets that I had into this sack. There's probably about 30, 32 sets in here. These dice, are they balanced? Who knows? I have no idea. But they're fun. And if you're a dice goblin, you're going to love them, right? And the dice are very pretty. Like some of these other dice, like I believe I bought this separately. And then there's a bunch of other sets that I put in there back when Dollar Tree started selling uh, polyhedral dice for a buck a set. Well, back in the day when they first started doing it, uh, they were doing, I think they had six different colors. Now every single Dollar Tree I go to, they're all copper. You can't get anything but these copper ones, which is fine, whatever. But uh, if you like dice... I'm going to leave a link down in the description. I think this is a heck of a value because you end up getting 20 sets of dice for about $22. And they come in a variety of different colors and all sorts. You'll dig those. Okay, yesterday I, I finally got around to picking up those jobs that come that Walmart's selling. I haven't opened this up yet, but I believe this comes with three sets of dice and then the three drawstring bags. And it's like $8. $7 and some loose change. Obviously, I haven't opened it. Boy, that sucker's glued shut. Oh, it's got tape on it. So, let's have a look. See, I want to see these these bags. These little felt bags. Yeah, they're tiny. That's uh, three inches by two inches, something to that effect. Little tiny little jobs. Yeah, and they are a set of seven each, right? So you, you'll get two, uh, two D10s for the percentiles. And then three little drawstring bags, which is kind of cool. Is that it? I believe that's the extent of my show and tell. I'm going to leave little links down there for the ones that you can buy on Amazon. And then Etsy uh, for the scrying stones. These are just, they're fun. They're fun little things. Anyway, I mean, comparatively speaking, look at this. This is a normal-sized uh, D12, right? And here's, here's the scrying stone. It's like twice the size. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thanks.